Good morning. I'm very pleased to be joining you today to discuss a very timely topic for my country. The planet is facing an existential climate crisis. This is not in dispute and has not been for some time. The science is clear. Seven years ago, 196 parties at COP21 in Paris signed a legally binding international treaty on climate change. Countries around the world celebrated this landmark first step to what we hope would be accountable, transparent and life-saving requirements to reduce the impact of global warming. But unfortunately, little has changed, and those most vulnerable in our small island developing states knew something more had to be done. Beyond the UNFCCC, other instruments under agreed international law already contain clear obligations to prevent harm to the environment and protect human rights. But how can these obligations be applied to the climate crisis? Pacific Island University students asked themselves and others these questions. Those discussions grew into a truly international call for clarity and for justice. Vanuatu accepted the call from our youth and has since been leading the campaign for an advisory opinion on climate change from the International Court of Justice. The ICJ is the only principal organ of the UN system that has not yet been given an opportunity to help address the climate crisis. To get to the court, next month Vanuatu and 15 other nations will table a resolution at the United Nations General Assembly. If we obtain a simple majority of votes in support of the resolution, the International Court of Justice will consider our question. Right now, we have around 90 countries that have confirmed they will vote in favour of this UNGA resolution, so we are nearly there. But more needs to be done. Specifically, we need to ensure all member states feel comfortable that this initiative is not intended to name or shame any particular nation. The question to the court only asks for clarification of legal obligations already agreed under international law and does not create anything new. The question is also forward-looking, considering both historical emissions but also emissions of today and the future. The primary goal of this exercise is to bring clarity to all states so that we can take better action moving forward. The resulting advisory opinion will help states revise and enhance their nationally determined contributions under the Paris Agreement and strengthen domestic laws and policies. The advisory opinion will likely identify gaps in international law, which will help us as we build and improve our multilateral climate negotiations processes. The advisory opinion will also ensure we base our relationships on the adherence to the rule of international law. As we have seen with the recent destabilizing war in Ukraine, we must prioritize an international legal framework which is clear on what acceptable state behavior is and what is not. The rule of law is foundational to the United Nations and to its mission of peace. From the smallest villages in the Pacific Islands to the global stage, the rule of law is all that stands between peace and stability and a climate safe world and utter destruction. The rule of law protects the vulnerable and is the basis of international cooperation, especially in regards to climate change. Vanuatu has heard the strong call and expectation from grassroots youth movements and indeed over 1,500 civil society organisations from around the world to draft a forward-looking, indeed intergenerational, question. Colleagues, the focus of the question is on the protection of fundamental human rights of present and future generations, a critical shift in narrative which may yield greater climate action and ambition among all states in the global community. In conclusion, it is time for the world's highest court to give us the clarity we all need to do more. We are out of time in Vanuatu, and our children need us to demonstrate the required leadership. Friends, not all states are of the same opinion as Vanuatu on the value of this initiative. But you can sway their view in the next weeks before the vote, and I ask you to do all you can in this regard. Thank you for your attention.